Hello everyone and welcome to Wildlife Camp! So in celebration of our back to school special event we're having this month, I figured we would try out a brand new game! And this one is supposed to be pretty hands-on with taking care of what seems to be extremely fluffy wildlife. Look at how fuzzy this elephant like is! Oh my goodness, what are you doing with little tusk at your age? And look at the size of this giraffe and how fluffy it is! I think we're gonna have a great time and based off of the music that is currently playing in the background. I think this may even be from the same creators of the Wildlife Park 2 series that we did a little while ago. So you can go check out Wildlife Park 2 if you're so interested. And of course, you can check out our Zoo Tycoon 2 series, which we have hundreds of episodes of with all sorts of amazing mods, all sorts of little custom tweaks and additions and challenges. I really, really love it, but I wanted to try something a little bit more hands-on and a little different this time. So let's go ahead and jump on into Wildlife Camp. I have no idea how we are going to take care of things or what we're going to do, so this is going to be pretty fun. Alright, let's make a new character. Welcome to Wildlife Camp. Do you need a bit of help finding your way around? Just click on the flashing arrow. Well, I think this is pretty self-explanatory, where we can just get like, oh, look at that! That's totally like my color hair. I have brown hair, and I have very, very long hair, so I think we're going to go ahead and go with this. I think you can just change between, yeah, male or female. Doesn't look like you can really change your eye color. So let's go ahead and make wildlife Siri. Oh, I can have a green shirt. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, there's some really cute tops. What the heck? All right, well, let's go ahead. I want to have, let's put on hmm, a green top. Let's put on this green top. And then we can put on some fun little shorts. Oh my gosh, you can even have like a little skirt. Um, I think pants are really practical if we're going to be working with like a lot of the wildlife animals. So let's wear some comfy pants and then you can have different color boots. Wow, you can really customize a lot. Look at all of that. Yeah, this looks like an outfit I would wear. Okay, let's do that. And then we're going to give ourselves a name. We're Siri. That's what we're doing here. Okay, so now we've created our person and I guess she's going to take care of some of the- <gasps> Look at that plant! Look at this plant! Oh my gosh, this is such a beautiful plant. I want it. I want it so bad. All right. Do we really want to skip the tutorial? Um, no. All right, we made a character. All right, we've done that. Uh, okay, we've done that. Gave the character a name. Okay, okay. We're on. We're entering the camp. <gasps> Whoa! What the heck? Oh my gosh, look at this thing! Wow, what? Okay, we're in camp now to the east of Tungro Village. Someone is already expecting you. Click on the man standing to your right, then click on the talk button to speak to him. <gasps> There's plants! In just a second, sir! This is heading towards the hut. Okay, hang on, buddy. I'll be with you in just a moment. Can I run? Look at these plants! Wow! Oh, I can run! Sweet! Look at me go! I have no idea where I am. I have no idea what I'm doing. <gasps> look, there's a helicopter pad. Okay, we'll talk to the guy in just a second. I just really want to look around at things first. There's big trees. This is a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. What's this? You need an animal to follow you. Just stroke one to make it follow. Okay, you can make the animals follow you, what? All right, so am I going to be taking care of wildlife here? Oh my gosh, can I really go in there? Come on. It doesn't look like we have anybody. So, oh wait, look, you can have like water sections. What? Okay, well, let's go talk to the guy. I think what we're supposed to do here is actually help out with taking care of the wildlife that shows up. <gasps> There's the pretty plant again. <gasps> I want it. Do you guys, oh my gosh, I want this. I love this. It's so lovely. It's a lot more lovely than this thing. Look at the thorns on that. It's look like It's like a sea urchin that attacked a bush. All right, well, let's come over and talk to this gentleman. All right, let's chit chat with him, even though it uses lips to show that off. Hello, my name is Alex and I work here as a national park ranger. I'm over the moon to finally have someone to look after the wild animals. May I show you around camp? Of course, Alex. I've heard you are interested in veterinary practice. I think I'll show you our new treatment room first. Try to go through this entrance by holding the left mouse button down. Sweet, okay, so I need to come over here. Pardon me, Alex. Okay, I'm in a little bit of personal space invasion. My apologies. You can treat sick animals in this room, but we'll talk about this some more later. By the way, if you get stuck with your task at any point, then you can get more information by opening the task menu at the top of the left-hand side of the screen. All right, so there's tasks we can do. All right, that's the main menu. And then this is the tasks for in the treatment room. Here are the animals, our own animals. Oh my goodness, you guys. This is already a bazillion times better than I thought it was going to be. 
Follow me, please. We have several different enclosures to make it as pleasant as possible for the wild animals. This enclosure even has a small pool to make it suitable for hippos. Feel free to go in and take a look. Oh my goodness, a hippo pool? Hippos are actually really hard to take care of because of the type... Ooh, look at us go. I don't know why I have sparklies popping up over my head. But hippos are very hard to take care of because of the type of water that they actually require. That's why it's very uncommon to find them in zoos. But now that they're doing more research and learning how to take care of the hippos and what kind of pools they need... Um, uh, oh, like this one? Well, look at this hippo pool. You're finding them in more zoos. I was shocked to find them in the St. Louis Zoo, but they did a really good job on that hippo tank. There's so many hundreds of fish in there. All right, so we can zoom in. <gasps> Whoa! Oh my gosh. This is already a lot better than I thought it was going to be. I, I think that we're going to have an amazing time taking care of the wildlife here, you guys. All right, and we can also press caps at the same time. Uh, I think it's shift. When you're finished, talk to Alex. Okay, let's talk to him. Now let us take a look at our newest arrival. His name is Zimba. He's a young lion that we rescued from the mountains last week. He couldn't find his pride of lions anymore and barely had the strength to live. Oh, is he abandoned by the pride? Okay, come on. Is he in here? Is he in here? Is he in here? <gasps> He's in here! I probably shouldn't have just like run in here, probably. We had to put him in that enclosure over there. He's a bit shy. Do you want to stroke him? Uh, you definitely shouldn't do this in any, anything, any place that lets you touch a wild cat like this, especially a big cat, is not a good place. But thankfully, we happen to be in little game world right now, so that's a good thing. Approach him carefully and click on him. All right. And then we can stroke him. I think he's hungry. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This animal likes you. It will now follow you until you chase it away. What? I have to like aggressively chase them away from me? Oh my gosh, look at that. When you have stroked an animal, it will trust you and follow you everywhere. Another method of gaining the animal's trust is to feed it. Open your inventory by clicking on the flashing button. Ah, okay, up here. I'm just carrying steak in my pocket. I will give you a steak. Lions love eating fresh meat. Select a piece of meat with your mouse and then pick it up. Okay, okay, got this. Um... And then pick it up by clicking the flashing... Oh, right here. Okay. Good. The piece of meat is now in your right hand. Now click on the lion and then feed him the meat. There you go, buddy. Oh my gosh. Is that really... <gasps> Look at that. We can watch as... We can watch as we're feeding him. That's kind of amazing. Hmm. Zimba is very dirty again. The animals need to be washed every now and then to keep them clean. This is best done in the grooming room. All right. So we bring him over here. Oh my gosh. There are several different sorts of grooming equipment here. You will find them in the top right menu. Try to use the equipment in the correct order so that the lion's coat is thoroughly cleaned. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, so I think we probably need to, uh, let's see, sponge, brush to get most of the dirt off of the animal's coat and skin. To do this, uh, try, let's see, yeah, try... Uh, take the animal to one of the grooming rooms at your camp. Okay, so we can use this. So I think we pick it up and then... Let's see. You just have to kind of like, is this it? Uh, to, we need to use a sponge. Oh, okay. So how do I get rid of the thing I'm currently holding <laughs> and get a sponge? Uh, no. Okay. I need to use a sponge. All right. I'm sorry, little guy. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Okay. Hang in there, buddy. So he needs a sponge, grooming room, equipment. Use the sponge to apply soap to an animal and loosen the dirt. To do this, take the animal to one of the grooming rooms. Okay, got that. Okay, hey, buddy. All right. How do I make you squeaky clean? Do I just kind of like rub it everywhere? Oh my gosh, I can't even see him. Okay, and now we need to get the... Okay, and you can just go... Oh, that's how you do it. So you just kind of get the equipment. And then you swap out. And then you sort of brush him down. I don't think he's very clean. That's sort of my opinion. I don't think I did a very good job. You'll find so the lion's coat is thoroughly cleaned. Did I not do a very good job? Was I not supposed to add it? Am I supposed to target certain areas? Is that it? Oh, here we go. Okay. So we're supposed to, I think you're supposed to like target certain areas of the cub. I think I got it now. So you can't just like point it at him at random. I think you have to like hunt down different spots. And then make him squeaky clean, like his little paws. Are you down? Are you dirty down here, little one? I guess this would be mimicking, like his his lion pride cleaning him, or sharing tongues if you're a warrior cats fan. All right, 
and okay can i okay oh use this piece of equipment to get the animal even cleaner a brush okay so i'm gonna swap out man it's a little bit a little bit to figure out what the heck i'm doing there we go perfect the lion has got a nice co co clean coat again you did really well now let's get back out all right we've got a new patient what all right a man is standing by the treatment room. Can you talk to him, please? You should, however, leave Zimba here. Yeah, we don't exactly want to take him up to the treatment room. Use the chase away button. Okay, so it's gentle. I thought we were going to, like, scream at him or something, and I was pretty agitated about that idea. All right, and we can earn some money, I think? Okay, stay in there, Zimba. From coming over, and let's try doing a treatment then. Oh, gosh. He brought a giraffe! <laughs> Hello, sir. My name is Soko, or Sol Oak. And I don't live very far from here. I found this poor giraffe close by. It looks very ill. Can you examine it in the treatment room? If you stroke it, it will follow you. Thank you, sir. All right, so we'll come up to the little giraffe. Hi, Bubby. <gasps> ah! I'm petting a giraffe. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, and now it will follow me. Okay, so now it's gonna follow me into the treatment room. Definitely perhaps not very realistic, but I really like it. Oh gosh, it looks like it's dying. Stethoscope, quick. All right, what do we what do we have here, little guy? And then you go to the different spots and you like take its little, you look for its little heartbeat, I guess. Okay, do I just have to like, do I hold it still or do I move it around? I'm not sure, I was holding it still a second ago. Okay, yeah, it looks like you can just hold it in the center. There we go. The hoof? I don't know if I'm going to get much of a heartbeat in that hoof. There we go. Maggot infestation! Ew! We need to get the black syringe. We can buy medicine in the village. We've got a little bit of money that the guy gave us. You will get information about the animal's illness when you have examined it with a stethoscope. This giraffe is suffering from a maggot infestation and needs an in in injection against parasites. Walk in a westerly direction to the village to buy medicine. Hang in there, little one! Okay. I need to go walk to the west. So, okay, you need to stay here. Okay, stay here, little guy. I just, I guess I'm leaving him. He's gonna lay down. So we, now we have to come to the west. Isn't this the village? Okay, walk in a westerly direction to find the village. I think this is another enclosure. Yeah, this is just another enclosure. Maybe I need to bring him into... Okay, come here. Let's see, let's try this. So, I think I need to bring him over. And I'm gonna bring him into a westerly direction. Come on, little one. I think I need to bring you inside a pen. Maybe that's what's going on here. Come on. No, I need you to come with me. Whoops. Sorry, little guy. There you go. Come on. A little bit further. There. This is better. Now we're gonna try to keep him here. All right, no, stay here. Okay, good. Stay here. Okay, no, stay. All right, good. So hopefully he'll stay. And then we need to walk in a westerly direction. But I think it's like locked to me. How do I get out of here? Hey, I want to go to the village. I want to go to the village. Is it this way? I think it's this way. But how am I supposed to? Okay. Um, hmm. Hmm. Maybe I have to talk to him again? Let's see. Walk in a westerly direction. Maybe it means to the east? I think it means... Wait, I guess that could be my west, if you consider things. I guess this is where I'm supposed to go. All right, here we go. The Masai territory. Oh, never mind. Okay. What about... What direction to enter you need an animal following you? I wonder if I was walking in the wrong direction. Then do I need to come up here to get to the village? That looks like another spot. Oh, 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 here we go. The village! Okay! I was just in the wrong section. <gasps> Whoa! You guys. Wow! Wow! Oh my gosh! This is so exciting! Okay, let's back up a little bit. And then we're gonna come this way. And we're gonna get to, like, explore the village now. <gasps> There's more of those amazing plants! Oh my gosh, and I can actually look up close at these plants. <gasps> I'm so happy! Okay, gonna shrink that down for a second. And I wanna look at the plants, look at them. Wow, you can actually get really good views here. Okay, so what we're gonna do next is we are actually going to start exploring inside of the village, hopefully meeting with different mechanics it looks like, different people who sell different items, and we'll be able to get an injection that we can give the little giraffe. 
Hopefully they aren't using these nasty things as needles. And then once we get the injection, we can bring it back and treat the little one for the maggot infestation. So I'm already really blown away at how detailed all of this is. And I think we just got started in everything. So we'll explore the village together. It doesn't looks like that's the entire village. <laughs> it's not a very big place. But we will come and explore the village together next time, you guys. So I will see you all then. Bye-bye.